traumatizing. Oh, all right. How did you feel when your wife tried to uh, kill you with lasers? It was dramatic music later in post to be like, it was the most traumatizing event of my life. Bum, bum, bum. Look at me. Look at what I've and, become. Uh, do you think she's going to try again? Oh, I have no doubt. She's still out there watching, waiting for a chance to blind me with another one. For the perfect opportunity. Exactly. Sorry. To set my my eyes ablaze. Fry my gray matter. Be a laser. Ugh. Disgusting. And with that, uh, what is this thing we're doing? Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, I forgot we were actually uh, doing, uh, uh, you know, a session tonight. Uh, <clears throat> yes, this is Condor and Crow's uh, petrifying pirate board bonanza on, on the high seas. The salty, salty seas. Episode six. six? I think we're on six. Six or seven. Go to heaven. Yeah, yeah well, I think <laughs> it really depends on I think it really depends on which you really consider to be the first episode. Sure. You know? Yeah. If that makes any sense. We don't have to make sense. We're pirates. Yar. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there were a lot of times where they were all at each other's throats because they didn't know what the fuck was going on. Mm. Because they were all crazed and blinded by so. lasers. <laughs> all pirates <laughs> had access by to lasers. All pirates had access to lasers. For people on the rocks, people on the rocks with mirrors reflecting the sunlight into their eyes to deal so with radiant damage. damage to them. Obviously. It makes you sick to your stomach to see it, you know. From like a visual standpoint, because it's so flashy, and it's disorienting. It'll like give you a seizure. Yeah, you somebody, can have a seizure. Somebody working on a lighthouse. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah. So what the, the house burned down the mouse. What the hell happened last time? Um, last time, <laughs> um, I had a couple beers before fight. we started, and I didn't yeah. eat much, so I didn't yeah. realize how bad I was, and then, uh, I thought it would be a great idea if we went to the bar where we left those goats and checked on them. Yeah. And, that, uh, that didn't go well. No. I remember I punched oh, an old lady in the face, or Mr. B did. did. Yep, yep. Are I we dead. dumped all of my money onto a table, and then just kind of said, come at me, bro, and then yeah. electrified it. That's and right. Somehow my brain thought that was a great idea. I mean, it worked. It did. It did. It was yeah. weird. Like it a drunken It was kind weird, of... but brilliant, you know? Yeah. 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 But we're at Evan's house and we rested. Is that why we got the extra we staff? And not only did we rest, we leveled up. Boom! Yes. Yes. That is what happened. Um, what, did, what did everyone pick? Like, did, did everybody get a feat or did... Um, or did everybody do something else? Just do the normal level up. I, I chose a feat. I went for the butcherer or butcher, um, butcher. and on a dr twelve agility test, if a person near me dies, I could perform like rapid surgery to save them. Shit, yeah, because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but if they end up not making it, I mean, I don't know how you roll for that or whatever, but that'll probably just be how it works. But uh, if they don't yeah. make it and they die, then I get um a D four rations from the corpse. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I like that. I love it. You know, I love cannibalism. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, uh, I I like taking body scores. Yeah, but I did too. Um, but. I know my class has a thing that I roll for something whenever they do. Um, you get I better. Up with a swashbuckler. Yeah, there should be a D six or something you get. Yeah. Aaron, did Aaron did we get to sort out what happened with your character? 
Oh, like uh, in the game? No, I mean your character sheet. Well, get your character no. sheet so we can play the game. I've been looking, and I cannot find anywhere where it's in the messages. Um, I found a new character sheet, but unfortunately, oh, did you lose your? Did you lose your character entirely? Like all yeah. of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a different problem. Oh crap. Did, I mean, did, we can, did Michael succumb to his injuries? He could have died. We could just make you do one. He drowned. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was like, I'm going to go back to my underwater cave. And he just swam he never down. Came back up. Didn't, didn't There's a bunch back of bubbles up. like uh, yeah. like Frankenstein at the end of Castle House of Castle Dracula. He just <laughs> yeah. right down at like, the bottom. Well, he's not coming. He's like, it's like he's not coming back up. Uh, oh, it's funny because like his character sheet was on his phone and he dropped his phone in the river and we were kayaking. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ironic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if if you're gonna go, that's that's not a bad way. He, Michael Shelby drowned. Oh, the irony of it all. Um, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's yeah. fine. Things like that happen, you know. Life. All right. Uh, so we have to re-roll my character. Kill. Do you want me to do all that? Well, I mean, you you can't can't play if you don't have a sheet. Right, I know. I'm saying, like, do you want me to wait since, like, we're already kind of, like, late? Like, wait till the next game and in between now and the next game, like, you and John and I can, like, get together and make the character. That way I don't, like, push us back and further. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that we should vote on it because I'm down for either one. We could make this. Video it wouldn't thing. take that long. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, it's all about <clears throat> what you want to do. Are you going to be the same character or something else? I like, I like being a turtle. <laughs> yeah, just re-roll that and whatever his um, magic power was, and sorcerer whatnot. It was like uh, the revive the or uh, it was like the summon the undead or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you remember what your your plus stat was? Or you had any? I, I don't. Uh, he did. I, I, I'm I pretty sure he did. I mean, just roll three d six down the line. Easy peasy. Just yeah. re-roll the stats, and yeah. then yeah, just, just roll. Yeah, just do three d six for each of them. And then just let him know what other, um, like his powers and abilities, things like that yeah. are, you know, that would be for the turtle sorcerer. And <clears throat> Yeah, I think I remember. Ten minutes, maybe, and we'll, we'll be good to go. Yeah. So, on my He had a year. really good sleep. It's crazy dreams. <laughs> yeah. He woke up anew. All right, so uh, roll 3d6. All right, I got 10. So 10 is going to okay. give you plus zero. Do it again. I'm going to go smoke real quick while we're doing this. If I'm not 13. back when we start, just let me know. is going to give you plus one. So agility plus one. He's a ninja turtle. Turtles can be agile sometimes. Yeah. So far he's 11. Uh, 11 is going to give you plus zero. Like snapping turtles can climb. Uh, toughness. They have big fucking claws. Hey, John, I rolled a crack shot again. So I now it's a negative four on the DR for ranged attacks. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? All right, you have two more stats. So three okay. 13. 13 plus one. Have you ever like accidentally made a ranged attack that was just too good, and like in real life, not in like not in the game, and but it was so good that you regretted it because it caused some sort of negative side effect. Like say you like threw a basketball, eleven, and it bounced off of and a trash can. 
and then it bounced into something else, and then it bounced into like your. Uh, As a sea turtle, you have negative D2 armor. So that's what you get for being a turtle. Yes. All right. That's what you get for being a turtle. All right. You're a sorcerer. Okay. So sorcerers get plus two spirit. Your strength is minus one. That could hurt. Your toughness is minus one. But he's a turtle. Apparently, that is not that. that, Yeah, but he's a turtle sorcerer. Ah, your. It's grown quite weary. Your hit points are going to be eight plus whatever your toughness is. You will ball not you. So, uh, yeah, John gave us max hit points at first level, so just eight plus whatever. Right. All right. Uh, clothing. Uh, I always wear rags. Okay, so you already know all that. I was wearing rags. Is rags even on there? How did you get rags? No, you should have had clothes. Thought rags were on there. Oh, there is. You rolled a one. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah. Do you know what your weapon was? Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, it devil's... was like a wooden knife. Okay, good enough. Can we just uh, devil's a... luck, Can you we have these six. Regular knife? Can we just... Wait, okay. I just want to say this. It doesn't make any difference. Just... It's just thematic. I, I'm just... You know what? I don't know what it is. I think maybe because we're not hunting down vampires or some shit. I think that I'm just against wooden... Maybe he nice. wants to hunt vampires, though. You're depriving him of that. <laughs> well, <clears throat> if that happens, if there's any sign that anyone's a vampire, you can immediately snap your wooden blade <laughs> in two and make it sharpen into a stake. That's fair. Um, and then double look for a D6. <laughs> there you go. And you have a character. That's it. All right. Now is is this the same Michael? Oh wait, now you have it... to level up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to raise your abilities potentially? Actually, you probably just want to raise your abilities because your abilities are all crap. Um. <laughs> so you need to roll six d ten, and if that's higher than your hit points. It's which it's going to be. There's no way you can. Your hit points are probably like six, right? Yeah. Um, well, I thought he had a D8. seven. I think he has he has negative toughness though. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So there's no way you're gonna roll less yeah. than that. Uh, just roll a D six and add that to your hit points. Okay. <clears throat> all right, you got that. All right. So now you're going yep. to roll a d6 for all of your stats. So starting at the top for strength, roll a d6. Oh, did we have a determine uh, a situation with pirates and salad? I got a three. Uh, is that just, higher than your? Tar- is that higher than your strength? Yes. Then it goes up by one. Right. And then you can do the same thing for agility. Roll D six. We get stronger over time, or sometimes we don't. Six. Sometimes we degrade. Uh, assuming over time. that's higher than your agility. Yeah. It goes up by one. Because everything gets calcified and turns into a crit. Same for presence. Brittle. I think presence roll d6. Okay, it's a two. Then it goes up by one. As we're, ri- as we're ravaged just by time. It's one of those shows. He's going to say, I feel, I feel like it's going to get dark today. <laughs> we're getting very existential tonight, folks. It's dark on the high seas. All right, so you got toughness, and then spirit, the last one. Do the same thing. No D6. Rules, eh, In theory, I think all of your stats are going to go up by one because you rolled pretty bad. couple of tasty treats. 
Okay. And then I don't yep. know what spirits or uh, sorcerers get when they level up. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Do you think that spirit makes sense as a ability in this game, or agility? Uh, yeah, as an ability score. Yeah. I'm talking to spirits. Well, yeah, but can't you just do that with presence? I uh, I think it's meant to be differentiated between Morkborg and Fireborg. Uh, so it's more of a spiritual sort of thing, whereas Morkborg was a little more rules late. Yeah. With oh, this one, no, it is necessary. Sorcery. Is that, is that, let's see. Look. Source. Where the crappy source are yeah, I feel like it is good to have it differentiated because otherwise you really just, you're going to spec in that one stat to be good at everything. You know what I mean? Because that yeah. was one thing, more poor. There was like, almost everything was some kind of presence role. Yeah. So That's a good point. Which was great for me yeah. because I always had awesome presence. But <clears throat> You don't have Sorcerer posted, so I have no idea. It's not here. What the I'm assuming he just gets another spell or something. I don't know. Does he get a new spell? I would uh, assume so. Sorcerers... Everybody gets something. That'd be further back, wouldn't it? Well, mom is little. I'm baby looking in Discord. It's not posted right, there, so see. I don't know. I'm checking. I got her here. Unless someone does it faster than me, which they probably will, because I'm slow. Does the rap scallion get anything? Uh, sorcerer. Uh, everybody get crap. I'll pull it back up again. Thanks. I, I didn't. I can't. Yeah, you get to roll for the spell. Okay, so roll a d6, and then you get another spell. Oh, I rolled a six. You rolled a six. Let's see. Okay, rap scallion. Here we go. Um, yeah. That's what you had before, though. If you roll a spell you already have, you can cast a D2 spirit number spell with each day. Roll again. Okay, yeah, roll again. Yeah, Three. Contact Jack. Okay, roll D6 for especially when you begin and when you gain it spirit. So roll a D6. Yeah, I just rolled a three. Uh, you have Rope Monkey. Your nibble is a, uh, in the rigging is you're on the deck. If you attack after swinging, jumping, or making an acrobatic maneuver, test agility DR10 to auto automatically hit and deal plus two damage. Oh, that's really good. So if you just hoot and holler and swing around, yeah. like a maniac, like a feral baboon. And that's on the features, right? Yeah, that's yeah. that's all you get. That and okay. uh, you. You did an ability score increase, so you get that. Yeah. Aaron, so you get two spells. Yeah. Ooh. Someone was hooting and hollering and chopping at me. I would toast. Okay, so I think everybody's good at this point, yeah? I believe so, yes. So. Oh. I feel like we should talk about how much money we have. Can we buy a boat or steal a boat? Because I feel like we're wearing out our welcome in this small town pretty quick. That's, that's highly possible. Yes. Um, yes, there are boats that you might be able to purchase. Um, and, if, and you could definitely steal, you know, potentially steal any of them. So, I mean, it's it's up to you. I've got um, two hundred. I, I don't know how much. I don't know how much money everyone has, though. Uh, you'll have to. Everybody. I have a decent have amount, money. don't I? Uh, I currently have three hundred and thirty pieces of it. I got two hundred and fifty-two. I, I have three hundred ninety. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I forgot where I wrote this down. Uh, I only have fifty-three. Because you're all washed up. Remember, because you, you got you know washed up on the. Uh... Dude, Darton wishes he could take a bath. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. 
Back in the house really, right he, now. He, yeah. he doesn't really care. He's really stinky because of the crab shield. Well, and yeah. um, his uh, bleeding gums from uh, his scurvy, he can't seem to shake. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Poor guy. That's awful. Times are hard for everyone these days. Mm-hmm. Inflation. Let's, let's go see about buying a boat, because then they're going to tell us all about the boat, and then even if we don't want to buy it and we want to steal it, we'll know which is the best one to steal. Very true. I like that it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. He's you know, right. They're probably not going to fight with the dude that has a <laughs> crab field. Yeah. And I don't see why they would. Still currently naked. <laughs> Well, now, you can ask, uh, uh, you can ask Stanley if you can borrow some of his clothes. What's uh, Beepo doing? Uh, Stanley, do you mind if Darton borrows your clothes? Yeah, no? you can have to. No, okay, then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't... Your guys are pals, so, you know. I don't see why you couldn't just take them. Yeah, uh, I yeah I'm just taking a shirt. John? Shirt, shirt and pants. Yes. Is it too late for me to roll for, like, psychic damage overnight against Beepo's mother? Not at all. Okay. All. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what the roll for it was. Chicken ghost. Spirit DR14. Hell yeah. 19. And D12 damage. Damn. Oh, wow. I did four damage to Beepo's mama. Okay. That so bit. she has horrific night terrors. She is writhing and contorting in her sleep and like bending and snapping her tendons as horribly injuring herself. But she is not dead. She is just in a lot of pain. And uh, I got really dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> to get so That's dark. what I'm here for. I mean, we are um, trying to take a child away on a journey. <laughs> we're enabling a child to go off on its own into the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she in the room with us? Or I forget what happened. With that. No, um, she's not. She okay. is nearby. Okay. Um, and Chris used <laughs> Chris used his okay. ghostly powers. <laughs> he used nightshade. <laughs> if, if, if we were playing Pokemon, he used yeah, nightshade. I got or, yeah, or yeah. Nightmare or something like that. It says I terrify them with, with my ghostly visage. And yeah, I guess exactly. I scare them bad enough that it hurts them a lot. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like a haunter is sort of, you know, coming at you. I mean, DR12, I like, gotta be like kicking her, right? Yeah. And be like, I am the ghost of like, Christmas past. What? Not just <laughs> punching kidneys, like punching through my sleep. But just a kidney. <laughs> That's like some scary movie shit. <laughs> oh, that was it really good. Very Scrooged. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love Scrooged. Mm, I guess it was Christmas Pass is kicked ass. Mm. And I love Bobcat Goldblade. Oh, me too. Just in general. And I love that he loves Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go look at some boats. <laughs> Yes. Why not? Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> You're in the market for boats. How many boats are there? Is there just one? No. There hang on a second. It's a good question, my dear. Gotta consult the book. I want to be like getting my hair like really good because I'm really handsome. Oh yeah, really handsome now. And so I'm like doing my hair up and getting looking real good. Yeah, over here. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get the. 
I want to get B in the crate so that we're not scaring fucking everybody off. It looks like luggage. It looks like we're serious. And Yo, we're yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. I have an extra arm now. Yeah. And I that's hurt myself. Easy. You can steer the boat better. It's true. And we're ready. You grew an extra arm because we're ready to buy today. Mm hmm. <laughs> but at a good deal. I feel like, like that makes sense that that would happen to an eel. Eels are weird. You know? Yeah, we still don't know how they mate in birth, right? Yeah, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. It's really strange. Yeah. It's awesome things like that. And they can live a really long time. And right? shock. Man, eels are cool. They well, are. I, yeah, that thing where they're talking. Yeah, that's what you guys are talking about, right? Where like they thought there was like a whole bunch of different species of eels, but then they find out that they're like just different life stages of this one kind of eel. Oh, yeah. really? Uh -uh. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. yeah like little person. plankton shaped eel. Yeah. Yeah. They just have like so many, like a whole bunch of life stages. It's crazy. Jesus. And like, wasn't there a thing like where like there's some like part it's part freshwater, part in the ocean, and like yeah, yeah, know. kind of like a, kind of like a salmon situation. You know, how salmon. Yeah, you know, salmon. Because like a lot of people think that the Loch Ness monster is just some giant eels. I've heard that. But yeah, maybe that's the final eel stage. <laughs> and it just doesn't happen a whole lot because oh, of shit. oh, when they go retire, they go to a lake, I... they go to a nice little lake house. Mm -hmm. I always fight for Nessie. Like, I know it's unlikely, but hey, I'm going to fight for the possibility. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm all for that. Nessie supremacy. Yeah. It's just so barely plausible <laughs> for something <laughs> to be in that. Yeah. Deep, but well, it's true. But we are living in a post congressional UAP hearing world. Mm hmm. Too. So, like, yeah. who knows what's possible? And before, like, recently, I mean, I read this, like, forever ago, so I'm sure you were before that, but there were, like, um, tunnels that go out to the ocean that went into yeah. the lock. Like, they have, like, the back and forth kind of thing, so. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay, so I can't find the thing that I need. It tells exactly all of the kinds of boats. Um, <clears throat> but there are quite a few um, in the harbor right now. Um, they're all bigger than dinghies. Uh, kind of like the size of... Uh, kind of like the boat, the boat from Jaws, but, but not, yeah. you know, not as like right. modern. It's respectable. If that That's makes a good sense. boat. Does it have a cabin? Like the under... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, some people are out on the water right now and others are just kind of milling around. Um, you guys spot one that does not seem to have anyone on it at the moment. Oh, that's the best kind of boat because then we can just take it. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. They wouldn't have keys at this point, right? Or do they have keys? Keys. And oh, also, so. does anybody know how to actually like start going on the boat? I've only been on several boats that didn't last very long. Okay, but you know how to get it going. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure the, we got on the there and then part. we're like, no yeah, one knows yeah. how to drive it. <laughs> the sail and stuff, yeah. I feel like... So I there were no... What's that? I feel like I, I know how to sail. I feel like I can. I mean, I... <clears throat> You're pretty piratey. I believe in you, mysterious stranger. I mean, I believe most of you were pirates. Yeah, okay, so we just know how to do that. We can figure yeah, it out. You're, you're yeah. used to a more coastal lifestyle. So it's like pretty pretty easy. I would still make everyone roll for it, but yeah. it's not going to be, a, not gonna be yeah. a high DR, you know? Okay. Does it look like there's anyone like attending the boat or anything like that? Like, is it, does it appear to be for sale? Don't see anyone at the moment, but there is a gull sitting atop. 
uh, just sitting there shitting. On the boat? Yeah. What if yes. this uh, seagull is a spy? It's a lookout. I'm pretty sure it's a good omen. Oh, it closes its eyes as if to rest on the... Uh... I want to ask the seagull if the boat's for sale. Like, hey, you bird, you selling that boat? Make a presence test. Eleven. You say that, you ask it that, and it opens its eye, looks at you, blinks, and then closes its eye and goes back to resting. Can I try to grab it so I can eat it? Okay. All right. Make a strength test. Try and snatch that guy. What? Five. Okay. I grab it nothing. You jump, but it's <laughs> not quite high enough, and it doesn't even respond. Like, it doesn't even open its eye or anything. It doesn't, you know. I don't even exist for this bird. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the boat, open the cabin, and holler for if anybody's there. You holler and wait for a moment to see if anybody pops up and no one does. Oh, do I see anybody like noticing us around and on the boat? Make a presence test. Okay. 19. 19. You look around and you don't believe, you don't think that anybody is watching you. It doesn't seem like it. Um, you think it, it looks like the coast is clear. Well, I'm going to go get my cart and start putting on the boat and say, come on, guys, let's get this going. <laughs> All right, works for me. All right, yeah, I got I kind of follow along. Um do you guys want to take her for a spin around the block and I'll go get Evan real quick? I also yeah. kind of make I want to make a pit stop on the way. Yeah, why not? Okay. I mean if I it want... belongs to somebody else, surely they'll let us know. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> we'll talk we'll we'll talk it out if that happens, but yeah. It looks just like our other boat. So, John, I guess they probably take me out of the action, but on the way, I want to stop in and say hi to Beepo's mom now that I'm handsome and she doesn't know who I am and try to get her to run away with me and bring Beepo. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let me just say that Beepo is not she is in a sort of uh, Agonizing. not a good place. Not a good place mentally after her psychic assault. I mean, that's when you run away with a handsome stranger, though, right? Yeah, that's when you make <laughs> bad, bad life decisions. Midlife crisis. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it would be well received um, at this moment. You could you could attempt it if you want, but you know poten potentially at your peril. I did so just get possible. I think I'm not, possible. I'm not even broken in delivery yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll just run and get Evan. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not telling you it's impossible. Just telling you that. It's... You know, I feel like I mean, if the DM is telling you not to do something, then yeah. Oh no 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 no! I, well, it's not that I. It's not that I don't want you to. Um, Worst case scenario, I die, and then I possess Beepo's mom. Maybe. <laughs> what if you write her like it? Do we have like a love, a uh, love letter or something in our inventory somewhere? <laughs> yes. Somebody scratch does. out the name and put her name on there. There's a love letter from some old lady to a younger man. 
yeah, yeah. Swap out the names. Do some forger real quick. I do have an ink and quill. Oh boy. You can try oh. to like let's like, do it. Uh, I'm gonna that try to get it. To the right away. Why not? Yeah. With so it'd be like a forgery attempt. Yeah. Yeah. I feel oh, like yeah. I'm, I feel like he's really handsome though. I feel like I, I'm just gonna have him use the, the handsomeness. <laughs> you do both. Yeah. Okay. I wrote you this. I will okay. come back for you, my love. But then again, why would I write her a letter? If I'm just gonna because, come get her. Because you were so but I read um, the letter. You were so yeah, awe reason. awestruck by her presence that you couldn't talk to her now, but you will come back when you are composed and you can sufficiently, you know, woo her. What I roll for that, John. <laughs> you can do that or you can like read the letter and say it to her, but Oh, do a uh, Lotharios or uh, the boombox guy to stand outside, you know, yeah. read the letter. She yeah, and then run away to the boat. Mentally reeling, so I think like the yeah, let her leave and come back thing might be better. I kind of feel like it would still be presence, wouldn't it? For forgery, I mean, uh, forgery would be like agility. Would forgery be agility since it's yeah? yeah you're trying to copy the uh, handwriting hand coordination. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just going to be reading it out loud. I'm just going to read it to her. Oh, oh in okay. that case, um. Deception? No. Uh, maybe uh, either presence or spirit. Presence or spirit. It's yeah. the same for me. So. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you sincerely mean this soul. or is it bullshit? Oh no! I really want to do this. Um, spirit. He's trying to reach out and touch her soul with his soul. Okay, that spirit. I, and I only rolled a nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! But here, okay. but we have devil's luck again. That is true. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Let me use one of those. Damn it! It's only an eleven. Okay. <laughs> All right, you can have one of mine. I believe in true love, but only once. <laughs> I'm gonna use a different <laughs> dice. There we go. Nineteen. Yes. Okay. Yay. That was the devil look for my magic feather. <laughs> I was just, he was over there, he tried it, and then he was like, What would Pete do? <laughs> what would Toby do? <laughs> what would Toby do? Toby has a way with ladies. Does. Um so strangely enough, maybe in her in her adult state, uh, she actually, you know, sees something in you, and you know, has some sort of nostalgic moment, and she like embraces you. All right, tell her, you, me, Beepo. There's a boat waiting for us. We got to run away. We got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She goes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so, so she's like, let's go get Beepo. Where's Beepo? She starts like dragging you to her house. Um, wasn't well, the one hanging out by her house? No, I thought Corey was for some reason. Maybe not. Anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah, Corey's on the boat. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So she drags you to the house. Um, yeah. She barges in. Beepo is standing in a corner, and he's peed on himself because he's been made to stand there for a long time. And she's like, "Oh, Beepo, come on, come on." And he he turns around and just looks just angry, very angry. Beepo. Come on, Beepo, let's go. I'm going to wink at him. He looks at you and just walks forward. I didn't mean to make this, this part so dark. I'm sorry, guys. That's what I expect. 
All right, we're gonna take off. I guess Evan. I don't know if Evan's with us yet or not. Pee 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 pee. Go get your mess up. Um. Let's see. He said that he'll cut. He'll catch up with you later because he doesn't feel well. Okay. He still doesn't feel well. He's still recovering. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna head back to the boat. Hello. I mean, we could throw him in the cabin. So you guys all start running onto the, or running towards the boat, and Beepo's mom's like, "Why are they here?" They're just giving us a lift. What? They're just giving us a lift. It's like, oh, he's like, "Are we all going to be able to fit on the boat?" Yeah. She goes, uh, okay. She's like, what about our luggage? Luggage? What about like food, water? It's all taken care of. It's an all-inclusive trip, <laughs> like a cruise. <clears throat> Make a Love will sustain you. That is eleven. Okay. She's like, I don't know. This all seems strange to me and sudden. Sometimes when things are too good to be true, they are true. <laughs> well, I'm going to fall for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll oh. follow you in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's so great. Uh so I don't know. So you make, so you tried to explain to her before and she said nothing, you know, it didn't work. She just she knows something's going on. Um but I will allow you to make another presence test to try and turn it around. Uh fifteen. Okay, so you end up assuring her enough that she's going along with what you're wanting to do. So she goes on to the boat. All right. And Beepo kind of like dawdles a little bit. She's like, Beepo, get over here now. Beepo. Okay. Now he's got to figure out a way to... Uh, get out to sea, and then get her off the boat. I think we know how to get her off the boat. I mean, I could just throw her off the boat. Right now? No. Yeah. We'll see. For now, we set sail. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is everybody down for that? Setting sail? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you guys take off, and as you're taking off, you hear a voice uh, from the dock saying, Hey, my mom! Yeah. <laughs> Do we have Evan on board and with Chris? No, he, no, he stayed at the, he stayed, he said he'd catch up, he'd catch back up with you later. Uh -huh. He was really feeling terrible after his horrible injuries. He Chris lost. Let's take the boat for a spin, see how it goes, and uh, we'll be back. We're not yeah, scaling it, we're like just uh, testing it. it out. Act like we don't hear it. Act like what? We don't, that, that we didn't hear him. It just take, take off. Him completely. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> so you you see him and you see another like small figure like standing there and like looking at you guys, just kind of scowling as you take off. And he goes and, he's, and he does this. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I mean, I guess we could actually, we don't have to be so 
mean. We could explain it. We thought it was our boat and offered to buy it from him, probably. Yeah. yeah, but what if it's more money than we have? Then we have to steal it again. That's true. That's true. And then we have, have to steal our money back. Yeah. Also so, yeah. True. Fuck him. Let's get going. He's <laughs> lucky that I don't shoot that thumb off. <laughs> that was very insulting. Or, It'll be or, that, or that I eat it. Yeah. Bite his thumb off. Pull a Joe Biden. <laughs> no malarkey. No biting. Biting them things right off, buddy. Just the facts, Jack. Jack. That's just the facts, Jack. No malarkey. Oh, gosh. So, okay. um, this whole thing is just going to turn into a disaster, I feel. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Nothing new. But yeah, you guys start taking off. Nobody does anything to stop you. You start sailing past, uh, like out of the little cove around Whalefall. You start going past the building. I, I mean, the, um, the lighthouse island um, and the tower is on fire. Um, still, no one's put it out. Um, and uh, nobody bothers you as you guys take off. How far out are you going to go? Or, um, like, are you guys just going to travel for like the whole day or are you going to stop or what? No, because we just really just we're going to take a lap to give Chris enough time to get back. Oh, no, I'm on, I'm on the boat now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, did so, you find a map or something at some point? It could be wrong. I think someone has a map, don't they? I think somebody found a map. Mm. I found everyone this. check their inventory. Was it Evan? Probably. Maybe. Uh, I don't have one <laughs> written down. You what? I don't have one written down. Okay. So, so I don't think I have that a map. Good, maybe no. no. Yeah, I don't either. It probably was Evan. Maybe. That's okay. All um, right. In that case, uh, keep. Going forward, do we have a goal here? Really, or are we just fucking around? Well, I mean, our goal was have... to get a boat, and we accomplished that goal. And uh, well done, everyone. Do now we you guys have Beepo and Beepo's mom on this boat? Do we know, like, of any, like, would our characters know of any neighboring islands or anything like that? Um, yes, uh, a little bit. Um, there, there are like, uh, what's it called? Like an arch, or there's like a, uh, like an archipelago not far from, from Whalefall, uh, that's sort of northeastern. Um, it's, has uh, has like the nearest sort of like cosmopolitan like sort of city. Um, and it's called Hag's End. Uh, it's a pretty um, it, it's not as bad as like like a big pirate town, like what would be like the equivalent of like Nassau, you know? Okay. Like there like are that. pirates there, but it, it's like there are privateers there as well that kind of like keep the criminal bullshit to a minimum, you know, while still exploiting the common man. Well, you know how it is. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go there. I wouldn't mind finding a better weapon if there's like a weapon shop. Yeah. And it sounds like there might be an opportunity for us to upgrade our boat by mm -hmm. stealing a boat. 
I'd like to go there too. What did he say? He got turned into a dog. I want to go there too. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Yes. That makes more sense. Yeah. You turned yeah. into a dog. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. My... From a turtle to a they dog. A... They made a mess, so I'll be a sec. Oh, no. Who made a mess? Bing? A poopy mess? Bing made a Who mess? Did. Those are the worst. Wait, oh. did you say... Did you say Bing made a mess? Uh, his his dogs. dogs made a mess. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought he said his dog's name was Bing. No, and the merciless. He made a mess. And he said, Bing made a mess. Bing made a mess. <laughs> Bing made a mess. <laughs> and the merciless can do whatever they want. Bing made a mess. Uh... I can't really imagine a dog named Bing, but I can imagine a cat named Bing. I would name a Chinese crescent Bing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. All right, so we're just sailing along right now. Oh, yes, we're headed we towards another pirate town. Uh, yeah, it'll be gonna, I have a fishing rod. And I'm going to put some crab meat on there and just uh, try to catch some fish while we're. You know, I have a fishing rod yeah. too, so I'm going to try to catch fish too. Oh, I'm yeah. Ready. Hell yeah, babies. Okay, so um, <clears throat> you also find on the deck a bucket of chum. Yeah. Which is mostly like fish heads and uh, horse guts and, you know, fish innards and Sounds delicious. other smash. Yeah, that does sound delicious. I'm going to eat some chum. Smashed, smashed yeah, up I, seashells. I, I'm gonna eat. It. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Like Make a toughness too. test. You wretched thing. A sixteen, seventeen. Oh man, baby, you love it. You man, baby. You man, baby, you love it. You just gulp it down. You filthy moray. what I was made for. You lick the pharyngeal teeth with your tiny tongue scraping out every morsel. Bust out a straw so start slurping up the <laughs> yeah. liquid part. I'm going to be what doing the... Wretched th what a wretched thing to see and have to say and have to hear. Well, I'm gonna do the type, the Titanic thing with Beepo's mom while these guys are fishing and eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like, it's like playing on a recorder. Yeah. <laughs> Since he ate all the chum, uh, Darton, may I use a little piece of crab meat for my hook? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll uh, regurgitate a few fish heads. Back into the bucket for you. Okay, I want to there grab one of. The, I want to use one of the fish heads. Okay. Um, all right. So everyone fishing, make a presence test. Uh, eighteen. Ten. Okay. So Corey, you sit there for a little while. You you like keep watching and watching and thinking that you're gonna get a bite, but it just doesn't happen. You think that you see the bobber go down, but it doesn't. It's one of those things where you focus on it too much that looks like it's moving, you know. Um that's just the one. But Darden on the other hand, his does go down quickly. Uh, make a, an agility. Wait, do you guys think it'd be strength or agility for this? Right. Uh, is, it, is, it like, is it like a heavy, a big fish or something? Yeah. I would probably say strength, strength and then agility. What's that? Strength and agility? You have to set the hook with strength. 
And then uh, Jilly to keep it on there and wheel, wheel it in. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, yeah, so make a strength test first. That's good. Uh, that was ni 19. Oh, oh yeah, that's okay. hooked. Set the hook. Now. I just pull the fish straight out of the water in the boat. <laughs> you you yank you do yank it hard and you see its head fly up and it's a very large uh barracuda. Hell yeah. Barracuda. That's uh, what I was so hoping. Now to like guide to like guide it, make an agility test. Uh sixteen. Okay, so you're guiding it, you're getting you're getting it to come in, it's thrashing, it's jumping wild and violent and mad kind of beautiful in a way. That's how I like them. And yeah, they're cool. And you reel it in and you see like just had all these teeth just piercing through its own skin, like crazy tusks made of like fucking glass. And just gnashing its teeth and thrashing violently. But it's by the side of the boat. Like you've got it. And it's getting tired, you know, from fighting. Mm hmm. Man. I finished finish getting it back into the boat. And, uh, and I take make my a, small sword and cut its head off once it gets in the strength, boat. Make a uh, strength test. The other thing I almost got was to make. Weapons out of bones. Yes, that would, that would have been cool. fucking perfect, right? Something like that. Yeah. Well, next time, next time, if you want, you can do that. Uh, yeah, that's seven. Like my seven for the strength. Yeah. Okay. So you try to yank it up into the boat, and it thrashes and slashes at you with its jaws. Yeah, a second. You take four damage up as its teeth rake across your chin and your face. I let out an agonizing scream. <laughs> get it it's, onto the onto the deck, and I start <laughs> kicking it. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's on the deck now, flopping, and there's blood everywhere. And like your pole is, it's still hooked on the pole. And the line is getting all bent and twisted and everything. And so the barracuda is just slamming around. All right. I get my pull out my sword and stab it in the head. Okay. Make Cut another it. attack Cut roll. Is that an attack roll? Yes. 13. 13? Yep, yeah. You hit. And then roll for damage. Four. Okay, so you chop into like its neck, and you slice like through part of its gill, and you see blood, and you see meat, but the damned fish is not dead yet. It thrashes violently, God. not Just... like slamming its tail and snapping with its jaws. Make an agility test. Oh, beast from the depths. I'm gonna run over there. Yes. This beast from the depths. All right. Uh, I'm a little five, but I'm going to use one of my devil's luck. Okay. Did you hear me, John? What'd you say, baby? Well, this is well, this is going on. I'm going to run over and like hit the fish with my fucking axe. Okay. Uh, my devil's luck, I rolled a uh, 15. To hit. Yeah, you yeah. hit. Roll that. Beautiful beans. Small sword Blade. damage. Bean oh, no, damage. Hang on. Okay. I dropped my dice. Oh, one. One damage. Yeah. Okay. You hit it hard. Um. You, well, you swing hard. But just the tip of the sword slices a little bit of skin near the back of its head, but the fish is not done yet. Just the tip. Um, just the tip. <clears throat> and uh, 
So roll an agility test again. So, I was, oh, oh yeah. No, I have, wait, 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 no. Before that, I'm already making a attack roll. Yeah. 15. Hell yeah, baby. Roll for damage. Help me out here. I'm I'm trying. Four damage. All right. Is that with the boarding axe? Yeah. yeah. You chop into its back and it thrashes one last time. Corey make an agility test. Oh my god. Do I have bonuses to anything? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have uh, done the ability so, check. Against the feet. Yeah. <laughs> you were just trying to help. You were just trying to help. So that's why I took the ability improvement because I had like Come on, Doc. everything. <laughs> Come on, Doc. Oh, I got a 12. A 12? Uh, okay, well, so you managed to jump out of the way as the, t the fish's tail violently thrashes and slams uh, into the bottom of the boat, jarring you, but you keep your footing. And you All don't right, get I'm going to run up tail. and stab this thing because this is too much. Yeah, yeah go ahead oh. and make... All right, so I got a 13, which stabs twice. <laughs> so stabity, stabity. Really quick, do I still have a cast on or am I fine after resting? Or am I slaying? No, your arm's still broken. All right, four okay. more points of damage. Unfortunately. You're you're healed. But, that's the thing. Like you are healed, but not your HP is healed, but your condition <laughs> is that you have a broken arm. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. So there are certain things Fine. That I was just curious. I forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that makes the most sense. You know, because having a broken arm doesn't necessarily mean that your HP has been reduced. It just means mm -hmm. that certain I things guess. are difficult. Yeah. But uh, uh, the fish took four more points of damage. You you stab the fish twice. It, yeah, you stab into it, it, you tear away, you see blood, and it wriggles and snaps its teeth and then dies. There staring up at the sky with its <laughs> large saucer like eyeballs. <laughs> This is a right sort of big barracuda. It is very big. It's it's bigger than you. Um, like it's longer than you are tall, and quite girthy for this type of fish. I mean, it's got like strange bony protrusions on some areas of its skin. Um, but I mean, other than that, like it seems like. A normal bear food. <laughs> you know, okay. One that's big and ugly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody who, well, Corey, did you take butcher? I did. You can um, roll a presence test to butcher it properly. Being a hey. butcher is just like, I think I would love to be a butcher. I think that's a would, job I would excel at. Wouldn't that also like benefit his ability to like pull organs out of animals to use for like Princess Beatrice too? <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Oh. 100%. Yes. 100%. Well, that's a whole separate thing there. All right. I got an eight for my presence. Okay. Do you, so, want, do you want the butcher roll or the presence? The butcher roll is I do a uh, DR12 agility. Oh, it's agility? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, well, yeah. So I, then I guess I guess that would have been what you were rolling for then, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. To chop it up, yeah. Because if it dies, I get four rations. and I mean, it does technically say a person, but that's up to you. No, I'll allow it. I will allow it in this situation yeah so um so yeah basically 
describe what you like think you were trying to do, but how it, but like describe how you think it failed. How I think I would fail. Yeah. Because you did fail. It was DR 12 year old at eight. Yeah. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I'm just trying to fillet this thing, start up ahead, and then just kind of get it into carryable steaks so yeah. we can uh, preserve them and then eat them. I'm assuming so, because of all the bony protrusions, like each slice just has like bone shards sticking through it. <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing. Like, it's not the meat is not ruined. Um, but you cut it in such, like you got it gutted and everything. Um, but you cut it in such a way, yeah, basically like what Kevin said, that like there are bone shards. You could salvage some meat like it's gonna take some work to you know try and scrape it off the bones and stuff, but yeah, uh, well, bone in bone in fish. <laughs> you're gonna pick it up little bones, otherwise you're gonna get stuck in your neck is what it comes down to. So <laughs> every, yeah, every time you, you make a bunch of anytime you eat it, you have to make a like toughness uh, test. I mean my surgical tools are a saw. So that would make sense. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> hacking it. Of course, skin. I can butcher this fish. And take it off the skin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that kind of stuff is perfect. But getting through the bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hacked all the shit, man. It's so wet as a bone. Wet as a bone. There's just blood everywhere. <laughs> Plenty of wet bones for all to see. <laughs> Plenty of wet bones to choose from. <laughs> Sounds like your dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> mercy. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to pick up the fish head and walk off of it. No. I... All right. So. So, Corey, roll 2d4, and that's how many portions of, okay. of the fish are salvageable. But I'm going to say, Kevin, save the teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I especially want the eyeballs and the uh, the brain. That's a good word. I got seven. A seven for um, portions. Mm -hmm. Portions. Okay, cool. So you have seven portions of fish, but however, anybody who uh, eats one has to make a toughness test. If they fail, they take 1d2 damage that ignores armor. Bone in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> and, on a, and on a fumble, they die. They choke, it, it, they choke to death and die. Well, you write that down for that habit, because I'm not going to keep that in here. <laughs> okay. Just write like dangerous bones or something like that. Fumble equals die. Yeah. Okay. Because if we don't remember how it goes mechanically, we'll remember how it goes. We'll make up something uh, worse. Theatrically, theatrically or thematically. Or oh, whatever. absolutely. I want to put bones in them. Yeah. Got Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fish bones don't dissolve properly in your stomach and just come out the other end. Yeah. I don't want to but get to actually. Yeah. If we um <clears throat> Are soaking the fish in like a uh, vinegar or something like that, or if we boil it, kind of like how sardines are made, then the bones would just be chewy and you can eat them. Ooh, well, you can definitely, if you can get a hold of some oil, you can absolutely do that. But at this moment, you don't have any yeah. on the ship. No but problem. you can absolutely get some. We can um, make some giant sardines. Yes. That would be so good. Oh, I want Sprouts so bad. Oh my god, I know it. That's like my Ugh. favorite snack. That on a fucking chicken biscuit cracker. Yep. Magnifique. 
Well, oh, I haven't had anyway. abortion forever either. That's really too bad. What was it? Sprots. Oh. Uh, oh, you said borscht or sprots? Well, I said sprots first, but then borscht also. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Joe and Alex's mama would come over and uh, bring borscht sometime. <laughs> and it's delicious. She loved beets and potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sour cream, a little hot sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Uptown. Anyway. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, re really quick, really, really, really quick. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier because Derek, my friend Derek North, friend of the show, uh, and I were talking about like rare meats you know oh yeah <laughs> black market black market meats and i was thinking about like how like who off the top of my head i would invite to that because like they're like i feel like they're only select people who would and so i hate to say this i'm not trying to be sexist but there was only one female that i thought of for this and that is Stella because she loves meat and she will try like any kind of meat. She does it doesn't matter if you told her that she was eating like well, maybe the only thing you could tell her that she was eating that she would be upset about would be like a cat or something. But anything else, if you're like you're eating a monkey, she'd be like, I don't care. I was thinking it's monkey. Yeah. All right. um, but she seems very feral. But, but yeah, she exactly. very feral. But it would be her, it would be Corey, it would be Derek North, it would be Dallas. Who else? I thought there was just five, or is it whoever? Oh, Evan, Evan, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's get but, it going. <clears throat> huh? Let's get it going. Let's do it. Yeah, it would be like some like weird freaks. Like we would dress up like in nice suits and we oh, have yeah. like some sort of grotesque hedonistic meal with exotic meats. Kind of like a Hannibal, like kind of like dinner situation. Uh, yeah, exactly. You could name so, it freak uh, meats. But freak meats, yes. But well, if freak anybody, freak you know, if anybody else. If, I hope I didn't offend anyone who heard that and thought, well, I would have loved to be part of your freak meats group. I just didn't know that. You know, I just didn't know that you oh, yeah. were exotic meats. Um, we'll just write the show and uh, they can be added to the list of the next time you do this hypothetically. Yeah. Yeah. But we like it's now. Corey and I always talk about like wanting to eat horses and stuff, you know. Things like that. I'll try anything. Yeah. It depends for me. I mean, I'll try most things. But yeah. there are certain things where like and there are certain things where like, well now like I've eaten them and I won't eat them again, like octopus. I don't want to eat octopus because yeah. like the, they believe they have dreams and they have feelings in the dreams. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. They're like really smart and stuff. Can't do that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. But then I also think like I don't know. I would eat a <laughs> under certain sort circumstances. I would eat a person. Oh, me too. Oh, uh, for me, that that somehow feels different because I am a person. I guess I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, mean. I, that, that makes sense because you still feel empathy for other creatures that aren't necessarily humanoid or what you would normally consider to be like of equal intelligence. Whether however you measure that, there are a lot of different ways. You can yeah, that. but I feel like though. I I don't really feel it. I'll bring it up that if you're if you're gonna eat a person that's a very cautious and has feelings and things like that. Yeah, eating an octopus is the same fucking thing. That's true, man. Yes, that's absolutely. So like, true. I would still eat both. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I don't want to like catch twenty two, but I feel like if you're gonna do that, do it. 
Yeah. Like a but human the, for ducking like, with a octopus in it. Oh, I yeah. feel like we got it coming a little bit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we've been asking for it. Yeah, no no doubt about it. Like, Look at us. Terrible. <laughs> I mean, like I said earlier, I'm in my, basically, my looking like a wildebeest carcass stage of life. And <laughs> You know what? What is that? What kind of what kind of uh, stuff? What is, aesthetic is that? You're you know looking I mean? good. It's what you Serenge- want to look. Serengeti core. Yeah, that's how you feel. <laughs> the dirt, the dust filled plains of the Serengeti, dust and bone cluttered. I'm Dry. coming to my own here, and uh, I'm getting a mullet and in my nails, and I just. Uh, after I shave, I just look like an old lesbian. <laughs> yes, I love it. My aesthetic. Yes, I love it. You're in your middle-aged lesbian era, and I love it. Mm-hmm. You're, I'm here for it. <laughs> Should start drinking wine. <laughs> Out of a box. I am drinking. I'm drinking Trulies though, so I feel like that's probably. That's that's the that probably oh, works. Really? Better, yeah. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with boxed wine. I've gotten real drunk off that before. Oh no, I love boxed wine. I used Honestly. to get drunk. Not to bring up the twins again, but um, I'm gonna bring up the twins again because it made me think of getting wasted on boxed wine with Joe and Alex and going swimming and just swimming with a bag of wine. <laughs> I just I love that, and then just. Getting really blazed and going to eat at Savages. They did that on our kayak trip. They had a bag of wine down the river. Who did? Oh, you did. Uh, Some of our coworkers. Yeah. They took oh, it out yeah. of the box and just had a bag of wine. Yeah. That's the bag good, man. is honestly yeah. the economical way to do it, and it keeps your wine because there's no air hitting it. So mm-hmm. your wine stays better longer. Like you open up a bottle of wine, even if you put a cork in there. In about yeah. a week's time, it's going to be bad. But you can leave that yeah. wine in there and drink it as you want to over the course of like a month or so. It's so mm-hmm. good. It's it's better. Yeah. You should put fancy wines in a bag. But it's yeah. just like a, you would see a bag of wine and be like, oh, that's no good just because. Yeah. Or you used well, to. France I try not to be too bougie when it comes to booze most of the time. I mean, this wine was a yeah. three liter bag for $10. So. And I drank the entire thing. <laughs> As you should. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. just so bad after the little baggy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Had <laughs> hey, <it> boy. <laughs> oh, John, I remember fucking a wild Irish rose. Oh, my God. That's... Horrible. Oh. Sweet death. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm kind of, I would what, a... That's probably what caused me to have the like worst fucking acid reflux of my life. Oh, I'm sure. Because we just drank that in Mad Dog. Yeah. Like a couple of freaks on a leash. We weren't even on the leash at that point. We were off the leash. Off the leash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who let the freaks out? Oh, God. Yeah. What was it? We made this horrible drink called, that we called Grimace. The it was not was that it? bad. It, it, it did the trick. Uh, it, it was, was like purple yeah. Kool Aid with like an entire bottle of full vodka. Yeah, and was then I put some sugar in it. Some sugar, <laughs> yeah. I think that was it. And man, we just had a gallon of look. a purple drink that we were just hitting back and forth. <laughs> that's, that's just yeah. drinking vodka, guys. That's just drinking vodka. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. it was purple vodka. No, not, not basically. You didn't put any other liquids in it. <laughs> That's just freaking vodka. Yeah. Water. It's like the, oh, it's I a splash of food water. coloring. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alan Jug and I did the bottle. We're all made of water, so. You know. Made of Kool Aid. Okay. I did. I missed the part where about you putting water into okay. it. I thought you were just saying you just put a. Kool Aid into vodka. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, I don't think that's making a drink. I think that's just <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I may have said that. It may be possible. 
it's possible because no, we made a know. drink. Okay, it was a drink. It was a drink, all right. But it was and then still we drank out of the van a bill. bottle of vodka and a gallon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we used to yeah to go on a rampage. Can you imagine John and I just drunk on the town? It's drunk a mess. Town, smashing I stuff. Drink before. Huh? I've seen John drunk uh, drunk before. It's uh, it's amazing. Oh yeah. I'm a lot more calm now, though, because I'm in my old age. You don't want to throw your back out. Exactly. I'll be like fucking sore for a week. It's not <laughs> easy if it's being this decrepit all the time. Are we still uh, playing this game? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, well, okay, like... let, well, hang on. Hang on, yes. <laughs> we are still playing. Uh, <laughs> we can play for a little bit longer. Or yeah. as long as, as, long as I'm probably going to get the bed I can do okay. a little bit. I got golf tomorrow. Okay. Get so, us inside of the island. Yeah. I, I got maybe 10 more minutes or so. Okay. I agree. I'll do that. Um, so you, yeah, you butchered the Barracuda. You guys are headed for Hag's End, and you will be there probably late in the night. You'll probably get there late in the night. Um, you know, it'll, you guys will have to make a, a joint, uh, like, toughness test to... You know, have the stamina to keep going and what have you, or you can choose to rest, put the anchor down. Okay, the choice is yours. Uh, I wouldn't mind resting to get my hit points back, or to get my oh life yeah, you did get back. scraped up. Yeah, you got scraped up, dog. I'd, Let's anchor down and see what happens. I'd quite the uh the scrum with the barracuda. Yeah, hey, like hey, when you right. feel your face, like when you feel your face, there's like part of one of its fangs stuck in your cheek. Oh, after we anchor down, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Oh, Petey was going to save those barracuda teeth. Yeah, yeah. I just gnawed out the brain and ate the eyeballs. You could have the mouth. <laughs> I want the teeth, and while we're resting, I'm going to put uh, the barracuda teeth into. Princess Beatrice's mouth. Okay. Uh, so make a get make the presence test. Is it presence or agility? Uh, I would think that would be agility because that's kind of like tight work. Precision. Yeah, I think. And did yeah. we, what did we say earlier that we thought was precise? And it was agility as well. Uh, uh, heaven was that, so that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Oh. So a die twenty. Oh, yep. We lost him. Oh, I got it. Hooray! Hooray! Eighteen. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So Princess B now has a bite attack that deals two d four damage. Hang on. And. Her bite's stronger than my soul sword. Soul sword. Has a one in four chance or not, I'm sorry, one in six chance of a thing breaking off into the wound causing further damage. <sighs> okay. So say that all over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2d4 bite attack. Okay, yeah. Bite attack. Two. One in six chance of losing a tooth causing more damage. Yes. So now B looks like a true horror of the deep with her barracuda head and Dark, her clampy gun crab claw. Yeah. <laughs> and then she has one hand, one like gnarled hand with sharp fingernails. She, but she's starting to she's starting to look less humanoid. 
Do you want some human parts? Because we've got an extra human. What's that? Said, do you want some human parts? Because we have an extra human. That's true. true. Good point. Let me think about that. You could make her Joe Mantar. <laughs> That's correct. Let me think about that. I just got through surgery. I need to take a break. Yeah. I oh, think... by the way, when I was making monsters, one of my favorite things uh, that Mork Board does and Pirate Board does is that they have like how much certain parts of them are if they're harvested, like how much they're worth, like different glands or like oh, really? if you want the meat or if you want just the scales or the teeth or blood or whatever it is, bones. Um, I, I like that. So I so when I come up with monsters, I try to think of those things as well. Um, just what Good parts enough. I think would be interesting for people to take. And, and, and if there's not something, if one of the things that you have the idea to try and butcher from monster is not on there, that's still whatever you have in mind is available. You know what I mean? Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Oh. And uh, is everybody, is anyone, uh, does anyone want to do something right before we go? No, uh, okay. I think I'm good. I got rested up <clears throat> on the moon. I okay. want to try to do a psychic attack against Beepo's mom again, even though she's on the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Why so, not? So, so, real quick, though, you guys bed down for the night in this kind of cramped, uncomfortable cabin, and you're all sleeping on the floor on blankets, and Beepo is pressed up against his mom. And she's like swatting at him and pushing him away. And she's like mumbling and grumbling. And she falls asleep. Uh, make the spirit test or whatever that you have to roll to psychically assault this woman. Uh, <laughs> 17. The DR is 14. Okay. <laughs> so roll for damage. Six damage. Man. Okay, so she's just had grit and bent and thrashing, yelling, screaming, gnashing your teeth. Severely damaged psychically on a level that hopefully none of us will ever know. Oh my god. Her heart explodes and she dies. Oh. Well, hmm. see now you can you got some parts. <laughs> I do. Beepo is very upset. He even though his mom's horrible. Yeah. He's just crying. Somebody comfort Beepo while I uh, figure out what I can do with this. It was yes, first time. <laughs> Yeah, do it. Yeah. What's that? I can actually do something. This <laughs> I I will try to comfort Beepo. Nice. Okay. Make a presence test. Mm. Don't right. forget you can raise the dead. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. See, see, mom's not dead. Oh my god. <laughs> do it, man. Do it. Do it. Do I still make a presence test first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta make a presence test. 14. Okay. So you start to comfort him. His, he's crying terribly and he looks mad at first but then he wraps his arm around the front of your shell and cries into your shoulder. And then you animate his I, mom. Yeah, I can. I can tell him. I have the ability to do that if you'd like. I know some other words that'll bring cover to you in this. In this, your time of need, and then start yeah. chanting. Yeah. He, he says, "Wait, what do you mean, bring her back?" Oh, you know. 
<laughs> Those who pass beyond the veil need not stay there. Oh, no, I don't. Can I make another presence test. <laughs> You're gonna fuck my mom. <laughs> you know. <Of> course. <laughs> I mean, not while she's a cold corpse, when she's animated. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you get warmed up moving around. It's that kind of show, folks. I guess. <laughs> we so knew it was going to get kind of dark. <laughs> make the, uh, Aaron, make another presence test. If you want. Uh, seven. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what were you trying to, what were you trying to say to him? He's trying to say that I would uh, bring his mom back. Okay, he, rolled for bringing, he rolled for animating uh, his mom. Not yet. He hasn't actually done that. No? Oh, okay. I got ahead of myself. No, you you were just trying to, like, basically get him to agree to do that, essentially. Yeah. Um, he's like, I don't, I don't know. I'm so confused. And he like falls down, like holding his head and crying. Um, <laughs> I would say just do it, or I would just start doing it. I guess I don't know. Start chanting. You're you're gonna do it. You're gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. So make a spirit <laughs> test. Yeah, go ahead and roll a spirit test. I am. Uh, one second. Oh, what happened to your skeleton, by the way? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, eventually wander <laughs> off after he splatted himself? Yeah. Uh... I, I got none. He, he checked on him when he I think he checked I think the skeleton checked on him but then yeah I think he wanted off. Yeah. I got a nine. Uh, okay. You should be able to redo that with some devil's luck. You should have at least one point. Yeah, do you want to roll do you want to uh, use a devil's luck? Sure. Okay. All right. 20. Non natural 20. It's uh, Dirty with my added on. Yeah. Okay. So you start waving <laughs> your flippered hands and speaking in an unknown tongue. Your eyes roll back in your head, and his mother's body lifts up off the ground using your limbs in a very unnatural and spider-like uh, way. She flips herself over and stands in a like crude mockery of <laughs> humanity. <laughs> Beepo, your mom's fine. Beepo screams. <laughs> Beepo! I is thought this, this is what you wanted. Uh, Your mom is fine. Just, she just kind of fell down. This poor says, What is happening? What are you doing? What did you do to her? She's better now. Look. She is. I improved I her. never hurt you again. He fixed her, see? He is so upset. <clears throat> He starts to walk towards her, but when she like snaps her head to the side and looks at him and just drools, he just turns like pale. <laughs> and <laughs> he falls down. He just starts like shaking. Oh no. Aaron, how do we handle a seizure? 
Well, I'd rush him back, but I don't have anywhere to do that to. Um, let's see. Toss, <laughs> toss him in the water and <laughs> see if it'll help. No, <laughs> toss him in the water? You gonna toss him off the boat? At night? No. No. <laughs> uh, um, I wake him up, you know. <laughs> I guess I would ask for Corey's advice since he's oh. kind of a... <laughs> Uh, uh, he is a, a doctor, pumper, kind yes. of. Yeah. Crossburn, what do you think? Oh, be putting him having a seizure. Yeah. Give him a good dunkaroo or what? No. Um. If only his mom were here to comfort him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. She would. <laughs> but she could now if you order her to. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going yeah, just, just to order people's to... mom to uh, comfort him. <laughs> I want to see if Chris can like because he's handsome. Can try to like comfort him a little bit, like be like it's okay, kind of thing. Um, I want to try to find him some water, fresh water. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go over there and be. That's. No, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go over there and be weird and be handsome with Beepo because that sounds weird. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Dad, I'm gonna go over there. Go over there. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah, he probably thought that. Okay. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. So I guess I was over there. I was like, Beepo, I'm gonna be your new dad now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he he screams, uh, and, and and just like his arms are rigid, but he crawls across the boat on all fours, trying to stand up, just slipping, sliding, in a frenzy. I'm like, don't you want to grow up to be handsome like me? We're gonna have to put him down, <laughs> like the dog he is. <laughs> <laughs> Or uh, just toss him overboard. Like, does anybody have any booze? <laughs> yeah, all I, I got a fine metal flask. There you go. Like, should we give him like a, a shot, like a little a medicinal? Yeah. I see why not. I was what are you drugging him with? Uh, booze. Just, yeah. With what? Booze. booze. With booze. Drugs. Okay. All right, so how are you going about this? What are you trying to do? Grab him? Uh, or... Gently. Or what? What's that? Gently. Gently? Okay. Not like snatch him up, like, come here, and like, pour it down his throat. But, like, come here, come on, this. take a sip. <laughs> sip on this, it'll make you feel better. Yeah. I say it's, I say it would still be a strength. Um, even though, because like part of being strong is knowing how to be gentle, also. So, okay, cool. Right. That was cute. What that quote? Oh, 18. thanks. 18 on thanks. that. <laughs> you were so gentle and kind, <laughs> and you reach out, to, you reach out, <laughs> and what are you saying exactly? I'm like, here, Beepo, I know you're upset. Sip on this. It'll make you feel better. He, he drinks it. And uh, roll a, just roll a die, a, a, a die 20. And it's basically going to be a toughness test, but with no modifier. So just roll and tell me what you get. Oh, yeah, 19. Okay. So you get him to drink the booze. He does. He looks like he's going to throw up for a second. But the kid keeps it down and he's standing there visibly drunk. Okay. Go to bed. Lay on your side. Go to bed. He doesn't know <laughs> where bed is because he's never been on this boat before. I'm just going to move it. You guys did make a little pallet area to sleep on, but uh, I'll just put him back down there where let's order his mom to lay down and then we'll put him down there with his dead mom. Like, <laughs> we're trying to calm him down. 
and not be a okay. Psycho. Let's just put him in the corner, wrap like bundle him up in a blanket, set him on his side. Yeah, he just needs to go out of the way where he's not going to get hurt by like a, he's a process monster. everything for a minute. Yeah, because we don't need to, we don't need to deal with that. <laughs> this is pirate medicine <laughs> at its best. Let's try to get him mentally oh my stable God. for a minute. Just see how he's going to be. I don't think he'll be well, but no. we oh, don't need to do anything worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this so... Is, this is getting real like that weird eye on Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <For the> donkeys. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, so you, you lay him down. He starts to go to sleep. Uh, what are you having his mom do? She needs to go someplace else. Yeah. Like, she should jump overboard. <laughs> Girl, you need to go someplace else. <laughs> we can tell her to sleep and make him think that she's dead again. <laughs> um, that would be better than how she is now. Re-traumatize him every night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that poor kid. She wanders up the yeah. She wanders up to the top deck with you guys and just listens to you waiting for your commands. Make Where's Beatrice, um, by the way? I'm good. Where's Beatrice, by the way? He's uh, in the crate. Oh, okay. Me. All right. Oh. Mm, too bad there's not, like, an extra crate. Mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could tear a part of the deck and make a new crate. Well, and do you want to put her in a crate? Yeah. <laughs> her later? Or do you want to throw her off board? Yeah. What if we, like... What if we use her for something though? Like, does like does this boat have like a crow's nest? Uh, uh, yes, it does. It has like a little seat. It's pretty small, but yeah, you can climb up there. That would be like a watch. Yeah. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Tell her to howl if like she sees something. <laughs> Get alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Something that would alarm okay. you in life. Call out. Absolutely. All right. I well, I wanted to climb up the the crow's nest and watch out. Okay, uh, make a presence test. To see if you can successfully convey that message to her. Hilarious. <laughs> Does she have skin, or is this like a Hellraiser situation? <laughs> yes, it's a bitch going to slow off. Okay, she's just I, like uh, a zombie. She's like thinking. a. Fresh zombie. Okay. Yeah. From the west side. No, I, mean, I got another has, 20. She just has like but, uh, limbs from where she was like getting thrashed weird. psychically. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Uh, so she looks weird. Kind of like a dead eye, I guess, sort of. Okay. Aaron got a 20. Oh, okay. So she scrambles up there in an unnatural and creepy way, sits in the <laughs> crow's nest, and she, you see her like scanning the horizon and looking all around. Awesome. That's great. We gotta go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, things got weird. We went on some tangents, uh, but that's all right. We're all just trying to have a good time. Yeah, I feel like it was a good show. Yeah, yeah I think so. It was too. a good game. It was a yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're good. Glad. Glad we're all simpatico, you know? Yeah. Oh, um, the original B. The I'll original B, is that what you said? Yeah, B prime. <laughs> B prime. Thank you. Bye, my baby. Bye, 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 Bye. Bye. Um, oh, anybody have anything they want to they want to plug or plug. bring attention to? Give money to the local animal shelter, please. Yeah, you should do that. A lot Give of shit going on. And help them out. Help those little critters, man. Animals the other day, left. This kitten came in, kitten, and his eye was exploding out of its head, and they did emergency surgery on it to remove his eye, and he's really cute. Aww. 
Yeah, his name's name? Mario. This is yeah, such his a dark, Mario. This is our darkest episode yet. We should probably put like trigger warnings on it or something. Well, it's uh, <laughs> it's Labor Day coming up, so uh, Viva Love Revolution, uh, burn it all down, damn the man. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, that's well, shout weird. out podcast Mon- the Monster Mashers were on all the pod places. Yeah, Spotify talked about uh, today's episode where we just went through an older uh, grimoire, the uh, Grimorum Verum, or the Poison Book. And just, there's some crazy shit in there, man. Apparently, like, one of the secrets to being able to run 20 miles an hour is to is a concoction of different fats of different animals, and then you apply it to the spleen area of the body. For some reason, spleen must make go fast, we think. Um, but yeah, but you'll get sick afterwards unless you wash your feet in white wine. Uh, I don't see why that doesn't make sense. Probably be throwing up all over the place. (laughs) Maybe we could do some dark business, like make a homunculus out of a fucking uh, horse's (laughs) carcass and a dog uterus and a turducken with Uh, boiled cabbage, and that's how you make kimchi or something like that. It's either going to be homunculus or kimchi. Kimchi is actually one or the other. It is very good. No, no shame. Nothing bad about kimchi. I love kimchi. Kimchi is fucking delicious. delicious. Very good. All Uh, right. (laughs) So, yes. So, everybody's going to bed. Everyone's got things they got to do. So, we're going to end this episode. And we're going to have another episode soon. Um, hopefully everyone will be here uh, next time. Um, but I think it was fine. I Evan needed to rest. He lost some digits. He did, and he has been bestowed a barnacle blessing, which we will That's find right. out. Find out what that does next time. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's it. And uh, I've been Condor, uh, and I am Crow. And uh, this has been Condor and Crow's pirate, pugnacious pirate. Help me, I'm a Ron Wildeby's carcass of a man. Uh, just trying to get by. Just, trying, just to get by. trying to scrape his way along. And this a call. Just loping across the uh, subjective prairie. Yeah. The crusty prairie. Anyway, yes, uh, so, oh, also, we're going to have another, we'll have a Condor Pro episode that's not this game soon oh. Oh. because we were going to do it the other day and then I couldn't do it. What movie? I, was, I had taken some psychic uh, Curse of the Swamp together. Monster. Okay. And, and I got to tell you, swamp, I've watched monster. like 75% of that movie yeah. and the monster doesn't show up. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, I hate at that. All? Is it just the threat of a swamp monster? Lots of people get the... thrown into a um a pit uh. in the scientist's backyard. I mean, the pit is basically a swimming pool, and when I say basically a swimming pool, I mean it's a swimming pool. But so, I'm assuming the monster shows up eventually. Yeah, and like the last like five seconds, that's Probably, what I call yeah. the budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish the tagline was like. Is the threat of a swamp monster enough to keep one town in line? <laughs> we'll find out. Threat. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out. Find out in technicolor. <laughs> uh, barely well, color. It, the color's not great. Barely, yeah. Some kind of color. Barely. It has some. It's some. Yeah. I'll check it out. Absolutely. It's mostly a dude in a lab coat throwing things into his backyard. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that'll be up when we shoot it, or shortly after we shoot it. So, be ready for that. You will. And with that, I'm gonna hit end. Piglets. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B